We've already seen a lot of closures across the country, whether it's caribou closures in my, I'm from the northeastern part of British Columbia. And we've seen uh, potential closures too on the west coast with fishing and, and other closures. So British Columbians are very aware of closures because it's affected us already personally. Uh, hunting and fishing organizations have a lot of questions about the source water uh, and associated protection zones reference in Bill C-61 as you do. According to section 21.1, the defining of what a protection zone is. So it actually does define it. It's whatever the minister says it is. And I think that becomes the question. It depends on who, whatever minister sitting in that chair can decide whatever meaning it is and then apply it and then uh, people are, are shut out from their ability to fish and hunt in those areas that they've long uh, fished and hunted. It, often I think is there's a misconception that people just do it for fun, but often it's for sustenance, right? You and I, you probably have a lot of friends that fill up their freezer to survive the winter with that, whether it's fish or arctic char <laughs> or moose or deer to survive. It's, a, it's about feeding our families. Do you share these concerns about the potential loss of access to hunting and fishing area areas for all Canadians? The primary concern of our members and what they've been experiencing as you've identified already um, with regards to protected areas that are being put in place and a reduction in access uh, means less people uh, that want to fish and hunt and impact on food security or that as well.